Foolbies, welcome back to another DIY. A couple of you guys have requested a few holiday DIYs that would be great as gifts. So today I'm back with another simple DIY that you can whip up in a couple of minutes and give them out to your friends and family. And today we're going to be making these really awesome origami crane tassels. I think they're awesome as necklaces. And if you want to accessorize your bags, you can just hook them onto your bags because I know there's a lot of ladies out there who like to dress up their handbags as well. And we're gonna go ahead and grab everything together and get started. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use scrap leather. If you guys have faux leather, be sure to just use that. And even little pieces of plastic would work totally fine. And I think it will actually look quite cool. Now you're going to cut your leather into perfect squares. Mine is four inches by four inches. Or you can print out my perfect square template to create different sizes of crane. First, you're going to fold your crane in half and you're going to iron in the fold. And to iron leather, be sure to have a piece of fabric over it, preferably cotton. And you're going to iron with a bit of steam. And you're going to iron for about 20 seconds. And to really help the leather set, I like to place a heavy book on top of it while it's cooling. And then I just remove the book and you should have a nice fold in your leather. So go ahead and open up the leather, fold in half in the opposite direction, and iron again. So with the front of the leather facing you, you're going to pinch the crease on two sides and you're going to push in the valleys to create a diamond. Again, I'm going to iron that and I'm going to let cool with a book. Now open up the lip of the diamond and fold the sides of the raw edges to the center. And this will create a point on both ends. Flip onto the other side and repeat by folding in the raw edges to the center. Go ahead and set the crease by ironing and letting it cool with a book. Also, just a quick note, I'm going to flip it over onto the other side and iron to define the crease on both sides as well since at this point the leather can be a little bit thick. Okay, now you're going to flip the pointy lip back on both sides of the leather and then I'm going to fold it in half and that will be the neck and the tail of the crane. So for the beak, I went ahead and just bent the tip of one side downwards and I set it again by ironing. To give the crane some shape, I folded down the wings and I just ironed only the wings. For the tassels, I went ahead and cut out a piece of leather that is 3.5 by 2.5 inches and I make little cuts at one side of the rectangle. Keep in mind that I do draw in a line just to know where to stop cutting. Placing some glue on the edge of the leather, I roll as tightly as I can and I use a paper clip to hold it in place while it dries. Using these tassel end caps, I fill it with a little bit of glue and I attach the cap to the tassels and I let it dry. Okay, so now we have the main part and now we're just going to put everything together. So for the tassels, I attached it to a chunky chain with a jump ring. And with a loop pin, I attach that to the chain with a jump ring. Next, I take a big needle and I pierce a hole into the crane. Then I slip the loop pin through and I cut off the excess and I create another loop. Now with another loop pin, I slip it through a pearl and I cut off the excess and I create another loop. I now attach the bead to the crane with a jump ring. And lastly, to finish this off, I connect my giant lobster claw to the crane with another jump ring. And that's it, a high-end origami tassel. And that's it, I 
hope you guys enjoyed the DIY. I think these would make great stocking stuffers or just tiny little gifts that you want to throw at your friends and family. You can definitely customize it by adding alphabet charms or pearls or anything else you want to add onto it to make it really special for that special someone. If you're going to try out this DIY, be sure to hashtag it with S-L-O-A-B-N. Send me a photo to one of my social media networks because I would love to take a gander at it and I would love to share it with others. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Be sure to support my channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Remember to rock on Slowbies. Bye! Hey guys, so I've been in Hong Kong for a while and I just wanted to share with you guys a couple of my favorite things in Hong Kong.